right, all right. Hello, Reverend. Hello, Pat. Spot of bird watching, Reverend? It's my latest hobby, Pat. Well, you've certainly got all the gear. I just hope the rain holds off for you. <laughs> oh, come on, Dad. Sorry, Reverend. Julian's in a hurry to get to school this morning. It's Chinese Day. Michael's coming in. We're cooking Chinese food, doing Chinese writing, and at the end of the day, there's going to be a really, really special... Oh, excuse me. Hello, special delivery service. Pat Clifton speaking. Pat, I've got an unusual one for you today. How soon can you get here? We're on our way. We've got a special delivery, Jess. What's it going to be today? Well, Julian! Julian! Bye, Dad! Bye, Reverend! Bye! Have a good Chinese day! Hello? Ben? That's funny. Where is he? Meow. Anyone there? Meow. <laughs> it's only me. Oh, Ben, you made us jump. Sorry, I couldn't resist it. What is that thing? This is a 100% genuine Chinese dragon costume. Wow! What's it for? You make it dance. One person wears the dragon's head, and other people get under this to make his legs. Ooh! Michael needs it at the school by two o'clock, and it's a secret. Ah! Come on, Jess. We'll need the big van for this one. Jess? Jess? Here comes the rain. Hello, Amy. Something wrong? I've lost Pumpkin. He's wandered off again. Oh, dear. I'm afraid he might take shelter in some barn and then I'll never find him. Don't worry, Amy. We've got a few minutes to spare. We'll help you look. <coughs> OK, Jess. You stay here. I won't be long. Come on, Amy. Let's find that naughty pony. Amy, he can't have gone far. Hmm, that's odd. The fan's not moving. Pat? Oh, we just stopped for a few minutes to help Amy, Ben. We're just leaving now. Is that okay with you, Amy? Of course. Looks like the rain's easing off. I'm sure Pumpkin will turn up. Right, Jess. Come on, we've got a dragon to deliver. <laughs> Bye, Amy. Bye, Pat. <laughs> Who's a pretty birdie then? Oops, off you go.
Oh my! It's... It's a... Monster! Hello? Foxtrot Tango Whistleblower, come in please. Over. Arthur, it's me. What can I do for you, Reverend? I'm in a field. A field, eh? Cool, that does sound nasty. Is it a muddy field? Yes, but that's not it. I'm in a field with a monster. I see. Can you give me a description of this, um, monster? It's got huge, bulging eyes, terrible, pointy teeth, brown and white markings, and a long, wavy tail. And I don't like the way it's looking at me. Sounds like I'll need reinforcements. Oh, just the man. Ted? Hello, Arthur. The Reverend's in a field with a monster. What? Excuse me, did you say monster? I did, Mrs Goggins. Apparently, it's got huge bulging eyes, <gasps> terrible pointy teeth, brown and white markings, and a long wavy tail. Oh, dear me. Come on, Ted. Dorothy, have you heard the news? No. Arthur? Arthur! <sighs> nice monster. <sighs> nice. <sighs> Help! Where exactly is this monster, Arthur? It was in a field, Ted, with the Reverend. Yes, but which field? Well, it could be any. Hold on. Arthur was in a hurry. I wonder what's up. Right, let's deliver this. <gasps> Jess. The dragon's head! It's gone! <laughs> there it is. The beast of Greendale. Oh. oh. What's our next move, Arthur? We keep a close eye on it, Reverend. Until we decide what to do. We can't just leave it there, Arthur. It's upsetting the sheep. First rule of policing, Ted. Don't forget your whistle? Well, that's the second. The first is there's no point in taking silly risks. And there's no point in just sitting here either. I'm going in. Ted? Ted! Oh, this is terrible. Without the dragon, Michael's Chinese day will be ruined. <sighs> Pat! Have you heard the news? The Reverend's in a field with a monster. A monster? Are you sure about that, Dorothy? Yes, apparently. It's got huge, bulging eyes, terribly pointy teeth, and a long, wavy tail. A long, wavy tail, eh? Meow. It hasn't got brown and white markings on its body by any chance. Oh, how did you know? Just a guess. Come on, Jess. Let's go and find this monster. Oh, Dr Gilbertson, have you heard the news? No. It's no good, but I can't let him do this on his own. Not you two. Arthur! Wait! I'm coming too! It 
it's looking this way, Ted. Don't let it see you scared, Arthur. These monsters are all the same. They smell fear and... It's coming this way, Ted! Run! Our monster. Help! 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 All right, you. You've had your fun. It's time to go home. <laughs> Amy, meet us at the school. We've got a surprise. Any sign of Pat? I hope he gets here soon. The children have enjoyed the day so much. Seeing the dragon would be just... Look! Look! It's Pat! And Jess! And they're riding... A dragon! They're riding a Chinese dragon! Dad! Can I stroke him? Can I? Hmm. Hang on, that sounds like... Is that who I think it is? Pumpkin? He must have found Michael's dragon and got his head stuck. And he won't let me take it off. He likes being a dragon, don't you, Pumpkin? Well, he can't be a dragon forever. Come on, you. Hmm. Thank you for finding him, Pat. And thank you for bringing us a real-life dragon. I'm sorry it was a bit delayed. Don't worry, Pat. This has made our Chinese day absolutely perfect. Hasn't it, everybody? Yay! <laughs> Special delivery service. Mission accomplished. Mm. Morning, Nisha. Thanks, Pat. Hi, Pat. What do you think? <laughs> it's lovely. It's a welcome banner for George. Oh, who's George? <coughs> Hello, special delivery service. Pat Clifton speaking. <coughs> Pat, I've got an unusual one for you today. How soon can you get here? We're on our way. Meow. <coughs> We've got a special delivery, Jess. <coughs> What's it going to be today? Ben! Meow. Hi, Pat. What do you think? Meow. It's a very nice glass tank with some leaves in it. It's a bit more than that, Pat. Take a closer look. Oh. Wow. What is it? It's a gecko. He's called George. Oh, so this is George. He's all ready for you to deliver to Mira at the cafe. He's her new pet. Great. Come on then, George. Oh no, those crates need delivering to Dorothy. I completely forgot. And PC Selby's coming to inspect all the STS vehicles in a minute. Don't worry, I'll take them on my way. Thanks, Pat. Jess, stop it! Meow. There! 
All safe and ready to go. Thanks, Pat. Bye. This is going to be George's new home. His bed's going to be there. And he's got lots of tree bark and tunnels to explore there. I thought geckos came from up countries. He's going to get cold in Greendale. That's why Dad's going to get a special light bulb to put in the tank so he can stay nice and warm. Cool, huh? Ugh! I don't think I'd want a gecko. They're all slithery and scary. Charlie, geckos aren't scary. They're cute. I'd love one. Oh. Oh, stop it, Bill. <laughs> Everyone. Here you are, Dorothy. Oh, thanks, Pat. They're just what I need for my new lavender honey display. Do you want to taste some? I'd love to, but I'm in the middle of a special delivery for Mira. I'm delivering her a gecko. A gecko? Oh, can I have a peek? I've never seen one before. Well, of course. There's nothing there. <laughs> Look more closely, Dorothy. Um, no, still nothing. Morning, Pat. What have you got in there? It's a gecko, Reverend. Really? Mm. Where? That's what I said. Here, let me show you. Look. He's not there. Mm. George has escaped. Oh. <gasps> Let's have a go, Mira. Oh. Bill! Sorry, Mira. Hello, everyone. Look what I've got. It's the heat bulb. Thanks, Dad. This will keep George really warm. Look. Wow. wow. Perfect. Thanks, Dad. Better turn it off till George gets here. Ooh. I'm late for the 12.05. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye. Oh, Pat, what are you going to do? Let's look around. He can't have gone far. Ted, can you let me know if you see a gecko anywhere? A gecko? Oh, by gum. Nope. No. It says here, geckos can climb anywhere with their sticky feet and they like to sit in the sun. But, come quick, I found your gecko. Oh. Leave it to me, Ted. I'll get him. Oh, Pat. Come on, George. Come on. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, by heck. Don't fret, Pat. You'll find him. Thanks, Mrs Goggins. I hope so. Better go. The pancaster flyer leaves in five minutes. I'll give you a lift to the station. It looked like George was heading in that direction. Oh, thanks, Pat. Hmm. All in order. Ready, Arthur? Ready when you are, Ben. Oi! Stop! Oh! Uh, 
Yes. Thanks, Ben. All in order. Hi, Pat. George has disappeared. Oh, no. Yes, I'll tell Mira you're a bit delayed. Bye, Pat. Who's George? Don't worry, Ben. This is a job for a real detective. I'll have that missing gecko back in no time. Thanks, Arthur. Good luck. <laughs> Oh, PC Selby. Arthur, there's something strange in my post office. Strange, eh? I'm his all happening today. Don't worry, Mrs. Goggins. I'm on me way. Oh, Polly. Help! <laughs> right. What seems to be the problem? Over there. It's all right, Mrs. Goggins. Everything's under control. Aha, gotcha. George. George. Pat speaking. Hmm? I'll be right there. Come on, Jess. He's over there, Pat. Oh, Pat, quickly. Here, George. That's a good gecko. That's it. I'm just going... <coughs> oh, Jess. Mira, that was Pat on the phone. He says, don't worry, and George is somewhere in Greendale. So he still hasn't found him yet. What are we going to do? Why don't we, why don't we help Pat look for George? Is that okay, Mum? Can we go and help Pat? Of course you can. Hooray! Wicked! See you later. Bye. Okay. Tell me everything you know about geckos. There must be something I haven't thought of yet. They eat at night. Oh, they're a bit scary and slithery. Charlie! What else? Um, they chirp when they talk. And they like to eat insects they find in the grass. Hmm, somewhere grassy where there's insects. I think I know just the place. Right. Who can make a chirping sound? Mira? <laughs> hmm, not quite. What about you, Charlie? No, it's like this. See? Easy peasy. Perfect. OK, let's split up. You two stay here and make sure George doesn't escape. Bill, come with me. Cool. Right, give me one of your best chirps. <laughs> Try again. It's not working, Pat. Wait, listen. Come on, this way. Look, there he is. Wow. Hello again, George. George! George, meet Mira. 
Mira, meet George. Hi, George. You're beautiful. Thanks, Pat. Thanks, Bill. Be careful. It's okay, Charlie. See? Oh, he likes you. <laughs> He's tickling. He's not scary at all. Wow. Oh. <laughs> I think George has got a party to go to. Come on, George. Let's go home. Well, let's go. Cool. Special delivery service. Mission accomplished. Hello, Pat. Morning, AJ. What has got you? Meow. So, all set for the Greendale show? Yes, it's going to be the best show ever. We've got Alf Sheep. Help, Pat. And Pumpkin doing some show jumping. Hi, Pat. Mm -hmm. There's Kite making a paddling pool. Morning, Pat. Michael's famous homemade ice cream. Hello, Pat. And Ted's bringing his latest invention. He says it's amazing. Ooh. Oh. Excuse me. Hello, special delivery service. Pat Clifton speaking. Pat, it's Ben. I've got an urgent delivery. How soon can you get here? We're on our way. Oh, and Pat, you might want to bring an umbrella. Hey. An umbrella? Doesn't look like rain. See you later, Ajay. Bye, Pat. We've got a special delivery, Jess. Wow. Oh. What's it going to be today? <laughs> Hello, Ben. Hello, Ted. Shouldn't you be at the Greendale show? Me truck's gone and broken down. I need you to deliver me new invention. The Ted Glenn Amazing Weather Machine. Wow! Allow me to demonstrate. If I want it to rain, I just say, Rain. Rain. Bingo! It is now raining. Ooh. If I want some wind, I just say, Wind. Wind. Yes! Very impressive, Ted! Ooh. And if I want it to snow, I just say... Snow? Snow. <gasps> Is it real? No. It's instant snow. Ice cold and guaranteed never to melt. What do you reckon? I reckon we ought to get going, Ted, if we want to get to the show on time. Do you need a lift to Greendale, Ted? No thanks, Pat. I've got to fix me truck first. I'll see you at the show. OK, see you there. Welcome to the Greendale show. And remember, if it gets too hot, then why not treat yourself to one of Michael's delicious homemade ice creams? Yum! There you go, one raspberry ripple. Oh! Oh no! My ice cream's melting, it's too hot! Oh, oh no! Still, not to worry, there's plenty more to see and do. And remember, any time now, Ted Glenn will be here with his new invention. Wait, Oh, come on, Ted. Uh, you should be here by now. Morning, Dr. Gilbertson. Morning, Pat. What a day. Mind you, I should think those flowers there could probably do with a spot of rain. Rain. 
Ted's weather machine. What's going on? I don't know how to switch it off. Ooh, hi. Ooh, at last. Sorry, everyone. It's Ted's amazing weather machine. It does whatever you tell it to. Oh, yes. So, if I say wind, it will win. You've got the wind. Oh. There. That machine is a public nuisance. I have a good mind to place it under arrest. But this is my special delivery. I need to get it to the Greendale show. All right. On you go, Pat. But try and keep that thing under control. I will. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye, Pat. Good luck. <sighs> Ooh. 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 So, still to come, Ted's amazing invention. But first, let us see some show jumping from Amy and Pumpkin. Come on, boy, you can do it. Oh dear, he's too hot. I'm sorry, Ajay. Oh. Don't worry, there's still lots to do. There's the paddling pool. Sorry, Ajay. Alf's sheep were getting thirsty. That's okay. Not to worry. How's our kite makers getting on? Oh, wow! Look at that amazing kite! Three, two, one, lift off! Oh. Oh. oh! There's no wind. This weather's no good. It's too hot. I want to go home. Me too! <laughs> No! Wait! There's lot to see and do! There's a... Oh! <sighs> Dad! You're here! But where's your new invention? You mean Pat hasn't delivered it yet? Morning, Mrs. Goggins. Good morning, Pat. What a lovely day. I've just been up to see my sister. Oh, you should have seen the weather. Snow, 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 and more snow. Oh, snow. She said it was the worst she'd known it for years. Oh. And that wasn't the half of it. Really? Phew, gosh. Rain, high winds, hailstones. <laughs> Rain. High winds, hailstones. Oh no, Mrs. Goggins, stop! be going. I need to get this to the uh, Greendale... Uh, uh, eh? Oh, no! Oh. oh. Pat Clifton speaking. Pat, it's Ben. What's going on? There's a problem. We've got snow on the road. Snow? But how? Ted's weather machine. But you need to get to the Greendale show. I know. Don't worry. We'll find a way. Hmm. By heck. Pat, 
What's been going on? We'll never get to the show in time with all this snow on the road. Yes, we will. We just need to clear it away. A special delivery always gets through. Come on, I've got a spade in my van. And I've got some buckets in my truck. We'll help, won't we, Bonnie? Thanks, Mrs Goggins. Let's get to work. Thanks for your help, Mrs Goggins. Oh, you're welcome. Bye, Ted. Bye, Pat. Cheer up, Aunt Jay. Have a nice cup of tea. No, thanks, Dorothy. It's a bit too hot for tea. The whole day has been a complete disaster. The ice creams have melted, there's no wind for the kites, and the sheep have drunk the peddling full dry. Hello, Ajay. Sorry I'm late. We had a spot of bother with the weather. No worries. Hello, hello, everyone. Thank you for waiting so, um, patiently. It's my very great pleasure to introduce the Ted Glenn Amazing Weather Machine. Wow! <laughs> yeah! Take it away, Ted. Right you are. Rain. Rain. Oh, fantastic! The animals drinks. The paddling pool. Wind. Wind. to keep my ice creams cool. Hooray! <laughs> Go pumpkin! Pat, you've saved the day. Thank you. It's the best Greendale show ever. It's Ted's machine. And if he hadn't helped me clear all that snow away... Snow. Sorry, Jess. Special delivery service. Mission accomplished. Special delivery! 